Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an OSX Lion boot disk. Um, you'll find several reasons for this. Um, mainly that your system needs repairing. When you're on the recovery screen, there's an option to download and set up a new version of Lion. This has two major flaws. Um, when you're away from the internet, you can't download that copy. Um, or if your internet's down, that also will suck. Um, if your internet is slow and you need a quick solution, this would be preferable as you won't have to sit there for hours, possibly even days with some people's internet, um, downloading this file. It's about 3.9 gigabytes, which on slow broadbands will take a very long time. Um, as it is a digital download, there is no install disk for emergencies. Uh, this can pose some very big problems for some people if they need to do a major rebuild. And uh, finally, using the install app from the App Store will keep all your data on your computer and preserve it. If you have a virus or something, this is not wise and thus not a good uh, solution for a new system or a rebuild. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your install application if you haven't already got it. Um, if that is the case, go to the App Store, download it from your purchase history, and put it on your desktop because it's easy to work from there rather than messing about in Finder. So I'm just going to tell you what things you'll need for this. You will need a 4.7 gigabyte DVD, um, only single layer, don't need dual layer. Um, your copy of Line, which is here, and a program to write your DVD. I use Toast uh, per out of personal preference. You can use Disk Utility. I'll show you how to use both in this tutorial, though. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your application here right click on it, show package contents, go in the contents folder and then come down to shared support. Here you'll find your install ESD disk image. Drag this to your desktop whilst holding the option key. So the option key is actually the alt key. You'll see the little plus. This will actually copy it instead of um, just dragging it right out the file, which is what you don't want to do. So once it's copied, you'll want to be looking for disk utility. So here's, here's my little application, Alfred. Um, that's free off of the App Store. And it's like Spotlight, but it's right in your face rather than up in the corner. Um, and it deactivates Spotlight. It's a very good, nice little application. So whilst that's copying, I'm setting up the next stages in my process. So you don't need this window anymore. Go ahead and close it. Move that to one side so you can see what's going on. So this is Disk Utility. Very handy, basic. Um, you're going to want the burn option. Alternatively, you can use Toast, which I've got in music here. Toast Titanium. This is the new one here, Toast 11. The other one was Toast 10. There we go. I am going to put this in a new desktop. So swiping all four fingers forward. Put that there. There we go. Got that there. So that's our version of disk utility and then this is toast 11 I'm gonna put that in a new there we go so Mac only because we're only using so get that up and then I will put that in another desktop if it'll let me <laughs> being a pain in the ass here we go 
So four finger swipe up, over to a new desktop, drop it in. So there we have it. That's our that's our thingy done. Right. So with any luck, this will be almost finished. There we go. 3.15 gigs. It will be slow. I mean, I'm running, as you can see, an Intel i7 with four gigs of RAM. I mean, this the um, top of the line MacBook Pro 15 inch, and it just shows that it's not always quick. Having power is not always quick. So, what you want to do is you want to get your DVD out of this box. They come in stacks of varying amounts. I'm just going to put slide mine in now. Um, you can get them in packs of 50, 20, um, 10, 5, and 100. I think Play.com do 150 um, DVD stacks. That's quite handy sometimes. So, once that DVD is recognized, come along and press burn. You can then select your file, which will be on the desktop, install ESD, and then you can select burn. It waits for the super drive. Um, once that's done, uh, you'll want to check mount on desktop. That'll let you um, check that it's actually burnt properly. And then what you do is you just click burn right there. But I'm not going to be using disk utility. So I'm going to go ahead and quit that. So I'm going to come across and I'm going to open up. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough going on at the moment. Um, blah, 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 users, there we go. Thank you for calling me admin, I really appreciate that. Not desktop, install ESD. Drag it across. This is toast, it's fantastic. We select burn. I am going to call it OSX Lion. Okay, so we've just hit enter, and this is a brilliant application. It writes so quickly; it's unbelievable. I love it, and the the GUI is really comfortable. So you see, uh, the speed will always start off slow. Do not be afraid; it does build up. When you're writing music, it's much, much quicker, but when you're writing an operating system, it will be decidedly slow compared to writing other data. Apart from that, as you can see, in those few seconds that I've been talking, it's already done about 5%. There we go, 5%. Right, so now that's finished writing, it will write a lead out. It's basic protocol, it writes a lead in. Uh, it's just so that the system can recognize the disk and how to read it. <coughs> Excuse me again, that one didn't sound too nice. Um, so yeah, it'll wear away, wear away, do its thing. And we'll all get excited because yeah, the job's finished, and it only took, like, six minutes. It really didn't eke that much out of my day, but now it's hanging, or it seems to be taking forever because it doesn't give you an estimated time for writing this lead out. <gasps> hey, there we go. Make a nice little ding as well. So, to be on the safe side, verify the disk. 
I have no idea how long this will take. It depends on your uh, disk drive speed and your operating speed on your computer. This looks like it will take some time. Be patient with it. I mean, this may save your life at some point. So, yeah. Don't play a hate on the machine. 99%. And 100%. I'm going to mount it. Just to make sure. Close that. Don't need to save it. And any luck. It will mount on the desktop. You can delete this file, by the way. Don't need that. Now, when you're booting from the disk insert the disk, shut down the machine and then hold down the C key when you go in on boot so hold it down okay and that's the end of this tutorial short and sweet thank you very much for watching um, like, rate, comment, subscribe you know how it works thanks guys